merch, man. It's just merch. It's just merch. Ah, it's just merch. Guys, this merch is so good, it should be illegal. Go shop at BigBearWeatherAndMore.com to get yours. All right, good morning, everybody. It is March 30th, 2024 in beautiful Big Bear Lake. Welcome to Big Bear Weather and More. This is basically when the snow just started. It was supposed to start at about two in the morning where I live maybe about an hour and a half ago. Like uh, kind of like a light little rain shower popped up for just a couple minutes and that's it. Like. It, it's been it's it's been crazy like it was supposed to as I said hit at two in the morning and I don't under, I, I don't understand uh, again why this happened the way that it's happening but oh well right better late than never but I'm still hoping we get something really really good out of it <coughs> Somehow we lost a good six hours worth of this storm. I had my timer on every 30 minutes as I fell asleep to wake me up. Every single 30 minutes. And finally, we had something happening outside. As I said, about an, an hour and a half ago, there was a little bit of um, drizzle, but super, super light. And I just thought, you know what, since it's only in like uh, that little tiny bit, we're just gonna wait a couple minutes till it gets a little bit stronger. Which is kind of antithetical to what I usually do, but it was so weak. But yeah, I hope everyone's having a beautiful morning. We're gonna be driving into some pretty heavy stuff right now, so I am excited about that. But I want you to know that my prediction is completely changed. My original prediction from yesterday, as you guys know, watching the Calm Before the Storm video, was eight to 10 inches. I think we'll be lucky to get six inches now out of this whole storm. When even yesterday, a lot of the forecasts were showing 20 to 30 inches of snow. So I'm saying six inches. And boy, oh boy, do I hope I'm wrong. I hate being that pessimist like that, but missing six hours of what was supposed to be some really intense snowfall. In that six hours, I think we could have had a good foot. seemed like as the storm hit the mountain it just kind of moved to the side a little bit just just crazy stuff man but that's the story of our forecasting up here it's just horrible but it does look beautiful out here i love driving in this stuff it makes me smile and right here to the left if you want to rent your skis and snowboards go to get boards right here right on the corner <coughs> get boards and they have a second shop right here on this corner on Knickerbocker that's their snowboard shop and it's right here next to the village and we're turning into the village right now so yeah it's really close to the village tell them I sent you and uh, they'll take care of you and if you bring your own equipment in they'll wax it for free they'll wax your skis of Star Wars for free as long as you mention you're a friend of the channel so go take advantage of that also, if you want to save money on your lift ticket, go to <clears throat> getboards.com. And if you order your ticket 72 hours in advance of when you plan on skiing, you will save money rather than go to the ticket window the day of skiing. So once again, go to getboards.com, save a few bucks, and enjoy your stay even more. And of course, you want to help out this guy, go to bigbearweatherandmore.com, check out the merchandise. Um, there's also other ways you can you can help in the description of every video um, ev Everything helps a lot. So thank you guys I put a lot of effort into this Right now. I got some really horrible news. So as all of you know about a year and a half ago I got into my first car accident 
in this car and I had to buy a new car because the snow season was just about to start and I'm so obsessive over this channel. Um, I, I went ahead and did something I shouldn't have done, which is bought that, that new car. And uh, my new insurance premium came in yesterday and now like I'm in a major panic because for my car, for both my cars and my mom's car, since I, I take care of my mom's car, which leaves me with nothing, nothing every month. But I put that woman through so much crap. If I could do more, I, t I totally would. But they want just about $7,000 for six months. I think it's like $7,500 $7, for six months of car insurance. Of with like, And that's the most basic car insurance with the highest deductible. And as I said, that was my first car accident. And I'm 44 years old. Like, it's just crazy. So that put me in a major panic. If anyone wants to buy this car, I am going to sell it. Um, I looked up everything, <laughs> you, you know. Um, it looks like for this model, with the 102,000 miles that I have on it, they're going for, the cheapest I saw was like 15.5. The average was about 17.5. And the highest was close to 19. I'll get rid of it for 14. Just flat out 14. Um, I'll get it detailed. It's been a, a great car. I just can't afford uh, the insurance on this and my other car and taking care of my mom's car too. But let me know if anyone's interested. 14 grand straight across the board. No haggling. I'm just going to start, start low like that. I didn't realize how much the car was worth. So as I said, instead of starting starting at a, at a price that's, uh, you know, competitive with like other people, I thought I would blow them out of the water because I know the used car market is expensive right now and it's, it's tough to get something decent. So um, again, 14 grand, the car's yours. Let me know, I, can, I really need the help right now. <laughs> so can you believe that though guys? 7,500 bucks for six months worth of car insurance. go we're gonna be driving right now into the snowiest part of big bear big bear valley i should say we're heading that direction towards the dam and it is accumulating quickly it definitely is temperature's 34 degrees so that should give you a sense of how hard it's actually coming down right now but it's above freezing and uh, we're still getting accumulation so that's good right now how does it feel you know I'm just putting along a little bit so not not really any issues but anytime something does does arise I'll let you know of course we've got all-wheel drive the vehicle is lifted we've got snow tires so disappointed because I, I, I truly think we could have had a foot of snow by now. But the heaviest part of this push right now is in the next 15 minutes. So that's why we are out here at this time. And after this, hop over to the live feed, have a nice chat. Everyone's going to be there as soon as I get home because I'm still really sick. I'm going to lay back down for a little bit. But, uh, yeah, thanks for being here, guys. I really, really appreciate all the support. Oh, yeah. As we get into the snowier part of town, you can see it's getting whiter and whiter and whiter. Oh, it's so pretty. I like it a lot. Oh, I like it a lot. I 
feel like singing right now, but because my uh, throat is killing me, I can't. All right, right here, I just kind of did a little slipping and sliding right there. <coughs> oh, that hurts, man. The coughing, not the slipping and sliding, the coughing. I was hoping we would wake up <clears throat> to my prediction for the whole storm. Well, actually, since I was up every 30 minutes to check outside, um, I guess I should have said, if I had slept all night and woke up, I, I would have hoped to have seen my prediction. road is getting a little slicker over here. So we are getting more snow on the road. Snow plows have, have come through once it looks like. <coughs> Woo! 33 degrees. The snow's picking up. Uh, this makes me feel so good. I needed this snowstorm after I got that news about my, my car insurance yesterday. It's so sad. I don't want to sell this car. But it is what it is. Wow. Yeah, guys, it's super slushy, so you want to be extra cautious. That's that's never never a good sign. I sure hope no one went over the edge. That would be just horrible, horrible. But again, guys, it's really slick. This slush is just pushing you wherever it wants you to go. As you can see, from from where I live compared to just right over here few miles away, it's a significant difference. Yeah, this is this is not not easy. We're gonna drive as far over here on the left hand side as we can until we see other cars coming. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, we just want to get get through this part unscathed and then I'm, I'm not going to be as worried. But yeah, this is not, not easy right now, guys. Coming the other way, at least they have some... Uh, tracks that they can drive on. I don't. But 
that's why I chose to go this way was to avoid any any traffic. All I can say is thank goodness for these steel rails over here. Just in case, you know. Yeah, they got quite a few inches over here already. I would say maybe three. Oh, look at this guy, man. Crazy bastards. Snowiest part of the valley, you guys. So disappointed that uh, the storm started way later than it was supposed to. All right, we're just about out of here. Required sign is up. I'm very glad that they have it like that right now. Because, yeah, this is not easy. And I just realized I'm wearing my sunglasses, which is making it that much harder for me. So I just took those bad boys off. like over here yeah they got about three or four inches of snow we're still in the snowiest part of town the further we go this way the less snowy it, it gets but since we're so close to the dam we're still in the snowiest part of town
gonna take up the whole road now. Again, just to give us an opportunity if we lose control either side, to give us some room to, uh, to maneuver. So we're just gonna drive right down the middle. And we're gonna try and stay on these tracks the best that we can. Because the snow is slushy, that's why uh, I, I, I suggest in these slushy conditions, you definitely drive on tracks that have already been made for you. Now, when it's much colder, I always suggest to make your own tracks because these packed down tracks will be icy as can be. And you'll get better grip when it's a, a cold snow. I know, I know. Some things don't make sense, does it? But here's the lake right here to the right. What do you guys think? Do you guys think my six six inches total is a big understatement? A big uh, under prediction? Let me know. Again, I'm, the only reason is because it's not like we got our storm extended by six hours because it showed up six hours late. I noticed that a lot of the storm like just missed the area. Like, it was coming directly at us, and as soon as it hit the mountain range, whoa, guy. Oh, careful. Oh, shit. Oh, no. All right, he's okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was genuinely, gen genuinely concerned for him because he, he lost control for, for a second over there. But that's why around turns, you don't stay in the middle of the darn road. You get back on your side. this now we're getting back over slowly because we can't see around that, that turn now we can see that's hilarious yeah, everyone's okay so it's it, it's funny there we go here's some tracks much better much better Back over a little bit. We're coming up to another corner that we can't see around. I'll tell you guys what, this is finesse driving right here. Finesse, baby, finesse. right alongside our leg here. And as you can see, we're out of the technically snowiest, snowiest part of the valley. The roads don't look as bad. They don't feel as bad. All it takes is just like a few hundred yards, you guys. It's quite remarkable to me how this town works like that. steady snowfall right now. Tell you what though, man, this, this car is, has been amazing. I never expected a car to be so good in these conditions. But this thing has been incredible.
those of you who are interested in the car. So that accident I had, it was only cosmetic damage to the front of the car. So they just replaced like the bumper and stuff like that. There was no like uh, drivetrain damage or, or or anything like that. I have all, all, the, all the records for it. It was, it was just cosmetic stuff. So not a big deal. Thank goodness. But yeah, not a big deal. I love that look when you can't hardly see out on the lake. It just makes it feel like it's a much bigger lake. And I wish this was Lake Tahoe. I really do. I would love to live up there for, for one of these snow seasons and do this channel from there. I wonder, would I have to change, change the name to like Lake Tahoe? weather and more. Who knows? I know we would get a ton more views. I'd probably have close to 100,000 subscribers if I lived up there. Okay, we got someone behind. So since we're just putting along, we're going to let him pass. not going to be the one to thank me watch of course not We're down the mountain they don't know the rules of the road for the mountain so once when when let's say someone lets you pass hit your your hazards just to say thank you to them i know it sounds stupid but you know what like uh up here you don't you don't get a, you know a lot of people who are consider it like that either so it's not just drivers from down the mountain so it's a, it's a lot of our own folks up here too so if you show a little bit of love hopefully they'll you know be grateful for that and hopefully this guy doesn't get pulled over but he's definitely speeding and in these conditions the authorities do not play up here and you do not want to get a ticket up here All right, we're in downtown Fonskin, guys. Don't blink, or we'll miss it. Hey, now. <laughs> yes. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. I think we started this drive at about 810. Again, if you go to the live feed, 
and see where it started. There's there's no white on the ground. Like it had just started. Just started to to be a steady snow. Oh boy, I feel so so crappy right now. Again, thank you guys for everything, man. You, you guys, you guys give me the energy and the strength to push through whatever I'm going through to make sure that I can put these videos out for y'all. If you're anything like me, before I lived up here, when I'd come visit, like if I was the one sent to go grab food or something, I dreaded it I because I did not want to drive in these conditions. I, I did not because I, I always had a bad time. Always. Because I didn't understand the finesse aspect about it and the very slowly pumping your brakes and uh, unlike usual turning I don't usually hit my gas going into the turn in the snow like I do without the snow. This is a dangerous turn right here though, for sure. You gotta go super, super slow. Man. so good with that window down though I gotta tell you probably not good for my illness right now but who cares we don't get storms like this that often or at least not this season so and I'm pretty sure I'll heal back up to normal so but it's been almost a week now Last night I was feeling a lot better than I'm feeling now, which that's not a good sign. Maybe it's because, as I said, every 30 minutes, guys, all night long, my alarm, eh, 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 eh. so I didn't get any sleep, really. I think this last 30 minutes, I did, though, because when, when I woke up, I was in a, in a panic, like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I slept in. <laughs> so, I know I fell asleep there. <coughs> and again, over here, while we can see both sides of the road, we're going to stay as close to the center as possible. Raise our speed a little bit, because we have a much wider road to... Uh, make mistakes on again I'm not driving fast faster because of that I'm just driving faster because there's less snow on the road I'm still only going 30 miles an hour so even if we lose it at at, at 30 we probably wouldn't go all, all the way over to the ditch here Next drive we do will probably be right before sunset, just to get that beautiful, beautiful view. But if these, if the blizzard conditions do show up like, like they're supposed to, or they were supposed to, like right now, guys, it was supposed to be 
like <coughs> zero visibility, blizzard conditions. As a matter of fact, look. So right now we're like getting into the heaviest part of what we got coming. lost our chance for a couple feet of snow and again I think we lost our chance for even a foot of snow so that that being said I'll bet uh, once again my house will get maybe five or six inches of snow the Big Bear Dam the snowiest part of town will probably get closer to 10 inches of snow still so that's still a, a nice little snowfall don't get me wrong but all of us were really confident about this storm right guys weren't we really confident about it By the way, our good friend German Shepherd on the channel. I just want to thank you, thank you big time. German Shepherd sent us twelve dollars on Cash App yesterday. So thank you, my brother. What a cool, cool dude. So he originally sent ten dollars, and then a couple minutes later, because he realized that I'd have no idea who it is, sent another two dollars to tell me that it's German Shepherd from the channel. So thank you, German Shepherd. I appreciate you a lot. Absolutely rock. Absolutely rock. I hope you're having a great day. You guys are very selfless. I appreciate all the help. German Shepherd's name is Stan, I believe. If I'm wrong, I am embarrassed. And look, guys, as we're getting into the less snowy part of town, look at everything's more brown. There's no snow on the road over here. <laughs> but even that's gonna change. back streets in through through Moon Ridge so we can see a little more snow before we're done. How's that sound guys? How's that sound yo? Oh we're we're coming up to where I had my very first and only accident in my entire life. Not even as a passenger have I ever been in a car accident. I'll show you exactly where it was. It's coming right up. This was a year and a half ago. Right here. Someone slammed on their brakes to turn left here. Right there. Slammed on their brakes and came to a complete stop when there was no one coming that way. <clears throat> so my judgment just completely was, was gone. I expected them to go and then I hit my brakes and I slid, slid, slid and hit the back of them. Couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. <clears throat> but it was right there. I think I was going maybe 30, 35 miles an hour. Not when the impact was made. It was probably about 15, 15 or 20 because I had been sliding. And this was during the summertime, guys. This has nothing to do with snow or ice. You would think if I was going to get in an accident, it would be this time of year, right? I know. Crazy, huh? Oh, it's so beautiful the way it's coming down right now. That song that I'm whistling, who sings it?
All right, we're gonna turn down to Vision Road. Temperature's still hovering at 33 degrees. Hey, now, you're a non-star. Oh, great. There we go. I'm blasting this thing faster to try to get that piece of ice. Let me uh, keep on doing that just for a second. There it is, I got that piece of ice off. I got the ice off. All right, so as we cross this stoplight, we're gonna be entering one of the other snowy parts of town. Let's see if, uh, if my knowledge is still very good. So we just crossed Big Bear Boulevard. have for when you're coming up here of where you should stay to get more snow or this and that ask me I'm, I'm here to help guys I want to do the best I can for you all our town depends on you guys Remember Jane's Addiction? What a good band. Back when music was amazing. Guys, for you younger generation, and gosh, it makes me sound old, and I, 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 I never thought I'd be the, the old man to be talking like this. Like, ah, oh, the younger generation's music is terrible. Well, it really is terrible. Our 80s and 90s music was just sick. snow over here. Not a huge amount. The Big Bear Dam still takes the uh, cake right now. This part can be pretty scary, especially when it's slushy like this. So I'm gonna drop the gears, play it extra safe. You guys know I've only used X mode on this car once in the five years and change that I've owned it. Yes, only once. And for those of you wondering, this car has put on most of these miles just up here for the most part. Of course, I have to go down the mountain once in a while, but it's once in a while, so it's not on those freeways rarely ever it's basically in five years and five months it's been up here i got this car december of 2018 and it's a 2019 model all right well we made it through that area without any, any problems so we're going to turn left here <clears throat> We don't usually turn left here, but we're gonna turn left here. 
That's a cute house right there. I could do that house for sure. <clears throat> Not when I have to pay $7,500 for six months worth of car insurance, though. You never. I've worked so hard, you guys. I'm 10 and a half, or, oh, oh, oh my gosh. April, May, June. In two months, I'll be 11 years sober. Holy moly. From alcohol, my, uh, my nemesis. 11 years, guys. And I spent about 25 years in and out of Alcoholics Anonymous and a total of about four years locked in nine different rehabs and two sober living houses. I shouldn't be alive. But I've worked so hard and worked so hard to be able to give back a little bit to my mom. <clears throat> Even though I don't have anything left over. You could have waved me around the car, lady. Um, even though I don't have anything left over each month, that's been the greatest gift is, is being able to give back to my mom. Of course, my wife and I would love to have that extra money so we can do something because we still are, we're not newlyweds. We're almost two years married, but I'd like to be able to do more for her but everything I put my mom through you guys she's she's gonna always get everything I can give her no questions asked that woman stuck by my side she believed in me she believed that I would eventually sober up and do the right things in life she believed in me more than I did and I love that lady so much but I keep on promising Rachel someday Someday I wish upon a star And we'll make more money and we'll go far Because she deserves it I work really hard you guys not just on this channel. I, I I have a regular Job up here that I've been doing for seven straight years Technically, I've never had a day off Because I'm a one-man operation and if I don't do my job, other people will, and I can't afford to lose any business. So yeah, again, guys, thank you for all the, all the support. You guys have been huge in why I'm still sober. I can promise you that. So thanks again. Hit that like and subscribe button. Share these videos. Show me some love that I deserve, I think. And yeah, I will, uh, I'll be talking to you guys a little bit later. Until then, peace out. I love you very much. Enjoy the video. Later.